Hello there everyone, this is Iron Mark 3 and welcome back to the castle story. Where my Bricktrons are actually showing me why it was a good idea to build the uh, layout like this. I mean, look at it, it's multiple approaches, they're running here, there and everywhere quite happily. And they're just digging a massive hole <laughs> underneath this structure. I, I do like this mine. Oh, it is so nice. And in the meantime, of course, they are also working on getting this new foundry zone laid out. But enough about that. Let us focus on other things. Like, I'm going to tell you to store lanterns. And you to store sentinels. Because I want to start production of some of these things. During night time, a couple of lanterns is probably a good idea. So, I might as well build them. Sure, the, this is... A, a light world. It's nothing like as dark as the um, nighttime mode I've been playing up until this particular run, but it would still help with visibility regardless. So, wait, have I locked those tasks? You're saying nothing to do? What? No, those tasks are still there. Oh, you idiots took out the stairs. <laughs> no wonder. Flipping neck. Idiots. How did you even manage to do that? Unless it's a, a flaw in how I'm building it, because normally those would be attached to the side, wouldn't they? Hmm. Actually, this might be a problem with the double staircase approach. If the if the stairs are dug in such a way that they collapse, then that might be a slight issue. Come on, you idiots. Do this thing. Do it. Do it! Pretty please? Why is no one doing this thing? Get over here and do the thing. Yeah, um, I think this might be just flat out be a problem with the um, double staircase. How deep has that gone down the sides? I can't tell. If I swing it down like this, of course, I crash into the floor. But Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, it seems it dug out those blocks there. And then the stairway gave way because there was nothing else holding it up. And the idiots aren't just aren't just aren't doing anything. <sighs> right. Okay. Right. Mm. This is, I am displeased. Quite quite displeased. And will you idiots please do something? Like get on that task. Oh, and now suddenly they're doing it. Oh. Blooming Bricktrons. Apply that one, please. Come on, come on. Do the thing. Do it. What a bunch of morons. I can at least put something in to help with this. Like that. They seem to be very reluctant to dig out that side piece. The, those two side pieces there, though. Don't know why. But, oh, I'm out of wood as well. Oh. Apply, cancel, right. Okay, so I missed a few bits. And we're now under attack as well, which is also peachy. Oh, well, at least there's plenty of people ready to just go and get... The fence is ready, but still, that is quite concerning, actually. You guys get up on top of there, uh, while I quickly build another quarry task and have a look. Okay, so what do you do? You actually leave the blocks, like, block there, step there, block there, step there. Does the, do the stairs not count as supporting you, then? Is that what's going wrong? Because right now we've got someone stuck down in the quarries, and there's nothing else to be done about it, really. Because there's a, a layer of dirt in the way. The only way to get them out is actually to tunnel your way out, which is less than ideal. So I don't mean really know. Oh, here they come. Over this way. I'm going to have to let them get at my stuff. Can't really avoid it. But I've got enough firepower to kill them quickly. So I've got, at least I've got that much going for me. Oh, 
Come on. Just keep on peppering them with fire. <sighs> this is so stupid. How, what, what, what even happened to those stairs? I don't get it. And the, the fact that Brichons can't dig out to get it sorted is also kind of bad, you know? Oh, also, that also ki almost killed my uh, crystal too. Hmm. Yeah, I can't rely on this in the future. I've got to hold them off properly. I've got to hold you guys off properly. I can't, uh, I can't accept it. I just can't accept the hits. I've got to stop you guys from even getting the hits off. Because it, very soon I'm going to run into a wave where I can't actually do this stuff. So, yeah, delete those. Um, you work on that. You work on that. Come on. Get down there. Thank you. And now work on that. Come on. Do the thing. Do it. Do it. What if I apply those ones? Oh, look. Suddenly they're doing that. Okay. Why can't you do those two, though? What is wrong with you guys? Come on. I don't... I don't... I don't even know anymore. I wish I knew they were, why they were acting up, but they just don't seem to want to work on this massive quarry I've, section I've got. Unless I delete those ones there as well. Can the guy underneath get at those? Oh, they can actually dig out those ones. Okay. It's these ones that are indestructible for God only knows whatever reason. What, why is that? Now, if I apply those... And suddenly, he can just climb straight out. Uh, okay. Sure. I guess the quarry's working again, but that that is very weird. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know what's going on at all. <laughs> Castle story. I seem to have found a bug of some sort, but I'll be darned if I know what that bug is. Maybe it's because those are two of the corner points of the two quarries? Where the steps are supposed to meet up? Or something? I don't, I don't know. I really don't know at this point. Except the fact that they are really annoying and they are exactly where I don't want them to be, so... At least the quarry's working for the moment, I guess. Anyway, we got wooden balls where we don't want them. We've got furnaces going up. Let's see. I want... You two are going to be stores for glass. You two are going to be stores for the iron. You are going to be a store just for raw stone. So we've always got some of that around. Then these guys in the middle are going to be a brimstone deposit. Yeah, like that. And these guys on the edge are going to be a iron ore deposit. So there we go. We've got our foundry section all rigged up and ready to roll. Which means we can tell these guys that we don't want them to be holding anything anymore. There we go. Because I mean, I need to, need to borrow someone. Uh, you. Come here. Grab that. And put it away over there. Um, you. Yes, you. Come over here. Grab those. And also put those away for me, please. I, I don't like how I have to do manual housekeeping like this. You. Come over here. Get the iron ore. Yes, nummy nummy iron ore. Put it down there. You. Move the other one. Down there. And I have to move the brimstone off out as well. You too. Because, as you can see, if I let if I let them keep doing this while there's brimstone in the actual depositories, they're just going to drop it, keep going to keep adding to it. So I need to move it all out manually and just make sure it's all gone. Come on, 
You get that, put it over there. You. And you. Come on, you. Over there. There we go, cleaned out. Whew. Right. At least I can start to smelt some stuff as well. So, let's get iron smelting rolling. Yep, then I'm using that. That's all fine, that's all fine. Good. I can't believe that took me nearly 10 minutes to work out how to even get the quarry started back up again. Because that was just nuts. Those those blocks there are just nuts as well. Now the question is, will the stair collapse as I keep digging lower? Shouldn't do. Oop, I'm just trying to see down here. Uh, this is something I mentioned previously. It's like, um, if you're not careful with how you do your buildings, then it's like, going to be very happy to just give way on you. But I suspect it might be just a flaw with how I'm double quarrying it. In the meantime, though, th these jumps are slowing my workers down quite tremendously. They really need the built-in stairs, but I can't correct that until I know if the rest of the stairs are going to collapse. You know? If the stairs collapse, then what's the point? And I'm going to have to restructure the entire quarry. And there's no way around it. Is that if it's going to collapse, it's going to be when that block over there gets taken out. So if that one gets taken out, will these two sets them on top of it collapse? Because that seems to be what might have happened for this first one. So I don't know, but it's something I need to know now. And actually right now I need to get defences ready. Because it's alarm time. Come on. Why are you doing that? Just, just pick up the stuff. <sighs> Honestly, this is a... Yeah, look at that. It's just, it's just trying to do it. But if it's on the storages, it just goes, Nope, nothing's going to happen. Or oh, you. No, you. Come, 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 come. <sighs> Fine, pick that up. And now you can run past it. Jeez. I'm going to need um, Furret. Furret, I need you to be the decoy. Pretty please. Because we need to s slow the enemy down. Above all else, we need to slow the enemy down. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm despairing just a little bit at this game right now. It's like, um, I don't know what's going wrong with that. Oi. Damn it, Furret. No, you. Uh, fine, Niso, you get to be the decoy instead because Furret wants to go and pick things up. Oh, they're over there. Hello. We see you. Hello. Oh, there's a mage. Yeah. Got to keep it dodging. This isn't too bad. I can keep the, I can keep things occupied with uh, Niso here. Yep, yeah, Niso. Come on, Niso. Archers. Oh, oh no, Niso got killed. Oh well. Uh, Fluet, come on Fluet, out you go. You're completely not a ninny, but um, I need you out there. Okay, attack that guy. I really, really, really need to get knights. Like, it's it's stupidly, stupidly fast. I need to get knights ASAP. There we go. If I don't get knights soon, I am going to collapse just from lack of defense. So, yeah. I'm trying to go without knights completely. Not, 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 not a good idea. Not at all. Very much so. Okay, let's see. I, I want to get back down here. Ooh. Yeah, this is just make this is just bottlenecking now. I need to get down here and delete that that one? Yeah, that one. Delete that and will it collapse the stairs? If it does, then this is all a serious problem. Yep, there we go. There's the problem right there. Okay. Cancel the quarries. <sighs> Darn it. 
And I thought it was such a nice situation as well, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to give you enough stack to, you know, it just doesn't let you properly control your quarries. Not to that extent. So now I need to dig a quarry which will work in the right size and w with this damaged start. Hmm. Oh dear. This kind of kind of sucked my entire mining operation, to be quite honest. Let's see. Let's go for a single quarry. Right. It'll have to rise up. I'm going to have to accept that. It's going to have to rise up. Otherwise, it's going to miss out on the um, existing blocks that are high up. Unfortunately, there's a big wall around the, this thing as well, so it's going to undermine part of its structure to do it this way. But I don't really have much of a choice. And I guess it's going to have to be like this, isn't it? So we're going to get a, <clears throat> we're going to get some minor collapse, but we can't have the uh, steps going into each other. Oh, and apparently we can't use it straight down that way because. It, it realises that the dirt is missing. Yeah, it's going to have to be like this, isn't it? Oh, this is going to collapse the stairs as well. Oh, no. What a mess. How are we going to get to... We need a way for the brick drones to get to the steps of the quarry. And the only way I'm really seeing is if we force them to tunnel through and tunnel out some extra steps. Uh, that that that's gonna have that's gonna have to be it, isn't it? Oh no. Okay, so you're gonna set that as the corner block. Okay, it's gonna have to be narrow. Can't get anything. Can't get around that. Um, dig these blocks out here, please. I can work some steps properly into this area, but it's going to be a bit of an issue. This is far from ideal. Okay, there, there is still a layer of dirt there, though. I can, I can at least get those out. Apply that. But I got distracted by the, the sheer mess that is my quarry at the moment. I need to get... I need to, if I don't get soldiers, I'm going to die. That's kind of the problem. So, max priority. Build that. Also, I need another weapon rack. To house the night kits. And I need iron to... Where's all my iron all gone? Seriously, you guys. Where's, where's all my iron all gone? I've not even been harvesting it. I've, I've only got a small amount which came out of there, and I guess that's been turned into a couple of ingots and then used for the lanterns. That is so horribly bad, I can't even begin to describe it. I would normally have got iron long before now, but I got distracted just trying to build basic stuff. It's appalling, really. And they still can't remove those two blocks. Hmm. They really must be marked as special for some reason. Still. Okay, right. Okay, that'll help dig things out a little bit more. that. Yes, I am aware that this is making a complete mess of things, but it's... There's not really much I can do, is there? Not really. I need I need five more iron bars even to build my forge. Oh, no. And here comes the... the <laughs> it's all collapsing. It's all collapsing around weighing seven to nine. The problem is, if I'm doing a really bad job, this is where it always collapses. 
this is where things always, always go wrong if I'm going to die. I'm, I'm, it's about this time when it starts to give way. There we go, just some winding steps just to help out. Um, we need the alarm call now. Come on, people. Oh, we're, we're overstocked on wood. Of course we are. I forgot to, I forgot to turn that off. Okay. I'm getting too distracted by this. I'm getting too distracted, too worked up, too blah. Uh, mind you, my Bricktrons are not acting quite properly either. Come on. Where is the assault force? Where is the enemy coming from? This has just been one hell of a mess, this entire video. <laughs> and I just can't help laughing at myself either about my own incompetence. Come on. Where's the enemy? I know the enemy's coming. Oh, they're over there. Okay. Right. Oh, you. Come on. And you. Go. Come on. Move, 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 move. I need you guys over here as a distraction. We've got to keep these guys busy until my archers get a chance to whittle things down. Nope, come on. That's right, attack these guys. No, 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 no. This is why I need them. Oh, there's a, there's a flipping troll in there. Oh. No, well, come on, Haronka, don't get caught. If you get caught by that troll, it's going to be major trouble. Uh, and Horonkor takes flight. Archers, pull back. There goes an archer as well. Get clear. Let them start to attack the core. Can't do anything about it. We have got to deal with them now. Before the core gets killed because there's a flipping troll in there. Yeah, this is starting to collapse quite a bit. We actually lost two archers in that one. And both of our decoys. So we've lost four Bricktrons in total. That was horrible. The end times are coming unless I can turn this around really, really quickly. And no mistake. Okay, let's see. Harvest task over here. Grab as much brimstone as you can carry. Yep. Um, quarry, are you needed? No, turn off the quarry. It's kind of messed up anyway. Lock it up. Okay, I lost two archers. So, we seem to be out of string. Build two archer kits. And two knight kits. Uh, come on, Mab, it's all hands on deck. We need you guys building stuff. Oh, we only lost one. Never mind. Uh, build one archer kit, please. But you guys really must hurry up, because there's no time for anything anymore. I was so happy with this, this mining place. I was so happy with my mine. And then it just went, kind of went to La La Land, didn't it? Oh well, at least, um, wait, come here, I need to test with you. Come come on, move down here. Yep, that does allow them to actually move through like that. There we go. <laughs> uh, that'll have to do. I'll have to do for an access point. Um, of course I got the new quarry set up and it is adequately connected to keep running. Even with all the mess and stuff that's going on down there. But... What I really need now is to create a... I mentioned earlier passive defences were a bit of a must because I require them ASAP. So let's put down a pair of altars. Yes, as in two altars. I need you to build some glass for me because I seem to recall we need glass for some of the altars. 
how many kits have we got? Eight, nine, ten kits queued. We've got nine people. Let's cancel that arch kit then. Especially since we're out of rope. Do they actually need... No, they don't actually need glass, do they? No. Okay. Uh, you, you just flat out work on the iron then, please. Uh, and with those, I can start to create as fast as possible. I can try to start to create some sentinel wards. Unfortunately, though, it, it is um, a case of having enough resources to throw at it. I've got enough iron and brimstone to throw at these things, but I need these things completed first. Which is high priority now. Come on, get those things done. Is there anything else that's high priority? Um, there is a build task on high priority. No, it's just that. That's the same one. The quarry's locked. The cleaning task is a high priority. There's a high priority harvest task, which I think is that one? No, that's low. Okay, it's the iron priority task that's on high. Right. And let's queue up Sentinel Wars. Many many sentinel wars. As many as possible, which is a total of 16 wards actually. Quite a lot. There we go, that's as many as we can queue. They're going to get those built ASAP. They're pretty close to my storages here. So they're just, they'll just run back and forth getting materials and things. And then, of course, we've got two stations, so two, two of them will be working at once. However, we are about to get hit again. Uh, I am thinking priority construction task. We don't have much more choices, but a couple on top of this section here will be useful. At least it gives them some height to try and deal with things. And it also means that the um, Corruptions don't really have an easy way to get at them either. Basically we're going to have to arm every single building we can. <laughs> as fast as fast as possible. Yeah, it's time. Four archers, we've got two knights, finally. We've got a battery of sentinel wards going up. Oh, yeah, come on. Um, unfortunately, we've got kits for everyone, so everyone's going to be in on this defence for once. But hopefully, between the addition of the knights and the addition of the sentinel wards, we will have enough defences to endure this one without actually losing anyone. Because that is a major downside if we lose people. Though, admittedly, they respawned fairly quickly. We're still too short of where we should be, though. Where are they? Where are you, Corruptrons? Where are you, Corruptrons? I want to murder your pretty little faces. Oh, there they are. Defensive mode. Right. Archers are moving into position. Knights are moving into position as well. They're standing guard to stop things from getting past. There we go. So, rejoice! I'm actually using the fortifications a bit. Though the, the Corruptrons don't seem to be too happy about that. But yeah, I used the fortifications to stop them because they just couldn't get past. So, some have gone around and some are just trying to bash their way through the wall. But that's okay for us. Uh, you guys can go on the aggressive mode now. And now we just need to finish off killing these guys before they do any real damage. But yeah, that choke point actually worked pretty well. All we really need is actually to have some kind of... Oh, I don't know. Call it a healing crystal? Over there. So we, we can use this as a choke point against all future attacks coming in from this direction. 
That would be quite handy, but nah, there's too, too bad there's no such thing as a healing crystal in this game. Such a shame. <laughs> yeah, there's no such thing as a healing crystal in this game. Mm -hmm. Exactly. However, this section could do with some reinforcement and repair. It, it was a bit, bit battered, but didn't take any major damage. But sadly, that is also all she wrote, because it is now time to end this particular video. So, this has been I'm Mark 3 Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. And I'll catch you all some other time. Mm -hmm. See you all later.